To establish that electric propulsion can safely and efficiently power passenger-carrying flights, Ampere is spending a month testing its electric eel aircraft in Hawaii. The aircraft, which is a specially converted hybrid electric version of the existing Cessna 337 Skymaster, has been flying routes operated by local carrier Mokulele Airlines. Traditional aircraft are powered by combustion engines. But what we've, what we've done that's really unique here is we've taken electric vehicle technology and incorporated it into the plane. So think a hybrid electric, almost like a Tesla or Prius flying in the skies. So the Hawaiian Islands are an ideal location for operating short haul aviation, connecting communities that otherwise are hard to move between. Being part of the elemental cohort allowed us to establish a more solid partnership with Mokulele Airlines, where we're able to work very closely with them as one of our potential customers. The chain of islands here in Hawaii offer a unique transportation challenge where travel is necessary for short distances. There are no passengers on board, but the flights, such as the 20 minute trip from Kahului to Hana on the island of Maui, are intended to evaluate what it would take to use the aircraft in commercial service. Mokulele, which is part of the Southern Airways Group, is one of 15 airlines that signed letters of intent to show interest in using Ampere's electric aircraft. And it's helping the California-based company to define its needs, such as how to handle fast turnaround recharging between trips. In addition to test flying the aircraft in Hawaii in 2020, we intend to be the first airline to put the aircraft in service. Uh, possibly as early as 2022 or 2023, so that Mokulele Airlines passengers are the first passengers in the world to fly on a hybrid electric aircraft in a commercial capacity. The electric eel has a 300 horsepower piston engine at the back and a 160 kilowatt electric power unit at the front of the aircraft. Ampere estimates that it will consume around 40 to 50% less fuel than standard Skymaster aircraft and have less carbon emissions too. Air travel is the final frontier of sustainable transportation. And we are working really hard to get compelling, electrified, sustainable aircraft into service as soon as possible. The industry emits almost 3% of global CO2 emissions each year. Unmitigated, it could grow to 10, 20, or even a greater percent of global emissions and really must have a, a better way of, of doing business. Ampere is already working on plans to electrify other larger aircraft. The company believes this hybrid approach has great potential to make regional airline service much greener, in the first instance for flights carrying up to 19 passengers. Ampere believes it will take another two or three years to get an aircraft certified to carry fair paying passengers. The flight trials in Hawaii are being supported by Elemental Accelerator. The group works to promote the use of electric propulsion in public transportation. Ampere's project is a first of its kind because um, it's, it's Ampere serving a commercial route, which has never been done before in a hybrid electric plane. Um, and the reason why this is exciting is because truly the future of aviation is it's going to be electric. As more people are flying, that means more greenhouse gases are being emitted into the air. And so there's going to have to be, you know, a response to, to the scaling in terms of people flying more. And so I think, you know, we don't want to curtail people's flying. We really want people to continue to see the world. But we need to figure out a more sustainable way for people to explore and adventure and discover how beautiful our world is. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.